Hey everyone, this is Max with Pure Power Solar, back with a, another video. And today we're going to talk about solar generators versus a battery. And by battery, what I mean is basically a do-it-yourself system, a DIY solar generator, which means not only having a battery, but also having solar panels, having an inverter, and having a charge controller, which are the essential ingredients inside of a solar generator. So, based off my article, which I'll link in the description below, what I'm going to do is basically just talk about the difference, basically in price. Also, I'm going to talk about the different companies that provide solar generators, and also I'm going to explain the complications of making your own solar generator versus the benefits. So first we'll talk about the price differences between buying a solar generator versus building your own. The price difference is going to be pretty significant if you build your own. It's going to be a lot less money if you build your own. I'll link to a video of Will Prouse who is a really talented uh, engineer and makes his own solar systems. He has a video where he makes a solar generator that's about a thousand watt hours and it cost him under $200. If you were to buy a solar generator with the same ratios of power and inverter and all of that, it would cost, I would say, about a thousand dollars. When you're thinking of solar generators, you're paying about a dollar per watt hour if you're buying it from a company. So he basically built one with his skill set for a lot less money. So if you're looking to have portable power, I definitely consider building your own. But if you are considering buying a solar generator, I have a few recommendations for companies. If you haven't seen my previous videos. I talk a lot about Goal Zero. I also talk about Jackery. I would actually prefer Jackery over Goal Zero. I know in my last video, I actually said Goal Zero over Jackery, but the price difference of Goal Zero versus Jackery is pretty significant. So I would say the most valuable solar generator you can get is from Jackery, but there are several other companies that offer different styles of solar generators according to your needs. But Jackery is probably the most common necessity for people. They have several different sizes of solar generators from 240 even less watt hours all the way up to a thousand. But if you're looking for something even larger to power appliances, things like that, Point Zero Energy created a solar generator called the Titan and that one is massive and you can attach multiple batteries underneath it. That's on a new level. The solar generator company Energy, I-N-E-R-G-Y, they created the Flex. It's the same idea where you can attach batteries to the bottom of it. So those are three companies that I recommend if you're looking to buy a solar generator. And those three, once again, are Jackery, Point Zero Energy, and Energy. Go Zero, I also recommend, but you will be paying a premium for their solar generators. They do make good products, but I would prefer Jackery over them because of the value. With that being said, the pros and cons of building your own solar generator. So the cons are that it could malfunction if you don't follow each step properly. I would also recommend once again watching some of Will Prouse's videos. He's on YouTube and he goes into good detail on how to build your own solar system basically. I don't know if he has videos on how he built his solar generator, his mini solar generator, but it doesn't seem overly complicated. One of the cons of building your own is that it could malfunction if you don't follow all the steps properly. The pros are that you're saving a lot of money, a ton of money, and you also get to custom build your solar generator to your needs. You may have certain needs that only a certain type of battery or inverter or charge controller can provide, but a con of building your own is that it takes time. So you'll definitely need to plan things out to buy the right products so that you can combine them into the correct solar generator that's custom fit to your needs. 
Besides those two cons, the pros are it costs less and you can custom build it to whatever your needs are. So I recommend building your own. I have not built my own, but if you have, please comment so we can get a little conversation going. So if there's other people who are maybe on the fence of buying versus building their own, maybe you can convince them to build their own or maybe they'll be more interested in buying. But that's all I have for you guys. Uh, feel free to check out my article below, which goes into more detail on the specifics of basically DIY solar generators and solar generators that you buy. We go over advantages, disadvantages, and several other factors. So check that out. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe and hit that bell if you want to hear more uh, of my voice, if you want to see more videos. Check it out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.